Girl, you ain't gonna believe this, honey. Girl, Cardi B. Cardi B is the topic today, honey. So Offset, because it's really about Offset and how he treat his kids and his baby mama saying that Offset is not providing good financial for his daughter, honey, okay? Now, look at what is they doing in that video. Okay, this is out of line. Cardi, <laughs> stop your stop. This is out of line. This is out of line how y'all carrying on on social media, okay? They too freaky, all right? And he stay at the damn strip club. I don't trust it. He's a freaky deacon. Baby, he's a freaky deacon. Okay? And she love it. Look at her. She love it. <laughs> Mind you, she said he got a big, thick one. Okay? <laughs> girl, girl, girl. So, um, let's get to the real tea. Make sure y'all like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip girl, XOXO. You know you love me, and I love you guys too, honey, okay? So let's go over here, because I don't know what they popping about. So as you guys can see here, you see Offset, right? It reads, Offset Baby Mama says he provided limited financial support for their daughter. Now, can you believe this? Out of all the expensive cars, they stay buying. They stay buying expensive cars. Cardi B don't even know how to drive, they say, but they stay buying it. So the mother of Amigos rapper Offset eldest daughter has claimed that the rapper provides limited financial child support, okay? I can't believe it. When I heard this, I couldn't believe it. Now, this is supposed to be the baby mama. She's beautiful, ain't she? Don't he got a type? <laughs> <laughs> Baby Offset got a type. He loved them pretty light skinned mixed women. He loved mixed women, honey. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He got a type. Mind you, hold on before we, because you know I get distracted. This is Cuban Dow. Remember, we saw text messages of her and Summer Bunny because uh, Offset wanted to do a menage a trois with both of them while he was still with Cardi B, honey. Ain't that a mess? Look at here, look at here. I did not know Cuban Dow, uh mother was Caucasian. Look, so this Cuban Dow at the bottom, and y'all can see here, you see the title, Cuban Dow, the little one. This is Cuban now, okay, at the bottom, and I guess that's the brother and sister, and that's the mother at the top. I said, oh, wow, okay, <laughs> yeah, girl, that was so embarrassing for Miss Cardi B, and let's look at here. Now, y'all know who this is. This is Summer Bunny. I'm telling you, he got a type. He got a type, Okay. <laughs> That's the other girl that was with Cuban Dow. And con right now, Cuban Dow, you know, she coming for Cardi B in the tweets. But anyway, this is Batty. I forgot the name, Batty and Jade. These are the two girls that Cardi B went to the club and her best friend had put the paws on these two girls for allegedly being with Offset because Offset was buying them all type of expensive things. And that was embarrassing too, honey. Girl, let's be, can, can we talk, if Cardi B didn't have money and she didn't have all this famous success, will Offset still be with Cardi B? <laughs> will Offset still be with Cardi B if she was just a regular degla girl? Girl, I don't know. He likes them very pretty and exotic, and he likes to move, move and pass around, move and pass around. I don't think he was ever ready to settle down, but um, I, I do think a bad chick with a whole bunch of money that definitely would give to Offset would make him consider sticking around. I don't think he's going to be faithful, though, but... um. Baddie and what's her sister name? Jay, they looking good, honey. They is very exotic, luxury type, you know, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Definitely here for your fantasy. And that's how you like them. That's why they go to the strip club all the time. They That's what they do on dates, go to the strip club. I could never, I could never. So anyway, let's go down here and see what she said. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, okay? Please subscribe so I can continue to give y'all the tea. You see, I ain't yelling now, okay? <laughs> so it says, Nicole 
has filed legal documents making several requests, including child support for the four-year-old daughter. All right, so let's go here, okay? And it reads, it says, I guess this is a fan. It says, just wanted to say that I have so much respect for you. My father said he didn't know if I was his growing up and it was hurtful. It gave me so many insecurities and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I can't believe your child's father said that publicly in a song. Your daughters are so lucky to have a strong woman as a role model, they grow up knowing how much their mother is willing to fight for them. Your new song is so freaking good. Can't wait for you to blow up and to continue to be inspired and to, I guess, continue to inspire people. Hold on. Hold on for one second. I'm sorry. So you mean to tell me his baby mama is an artist or a rapper? Maybe he got a, fe a fetish with rappers too, Okay. <laughs> Because Aunt Cuban Dow, she's a rapper, okay? Um, Cardi B is a rapper. Summer Bunny, you know she's a rapper, okay? <laughs> Girl, and maybe that's the difference between Cardi B and these other girls. Cardi B is established. These other girls, they always going to want from Offset. They always going to want the, him to help them or financially. They always going to want something for Offset. But Offset don't mind because he loves very mixed, exotic, pretty women. He loves to fantasize about them, get freaky deaky. He's a freaky deak. You seen that man? He's very freaky. Trust me. Okay, he's freaking all the mixed girls. Anybody mixed and pretty and exotic. So... Oh, I okay, so let's play this clip right here. All right, let's let's take it back real quick. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Here we go. Listen to this, okay? You know, you were very honest about what where you were at in your life when you had your kids. You know, you talk about your daughter and not even knowing for sure if that was your daughter at first. That was like one of the hardest moments of my life, to be honest. I found out I had I was I was saying I have a kid, but she got to my mom on Facebook. And then, and then when I see her, the, the kid, I know it's me. You know what I mean? But she five months. I don't even know this. Like I don't even know her mama. Like it's my first daughter, and I was holding it in for so long. You know, you famous. You try to keep. What did that take though to, to, to take? Because I mean, it, it gotta be difficult. You don't know this. Don't know the woman. You're not sure. You got your other two kids. Nothing wrong with making sure though. In your position. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely make sure. But then oh, yeah, step but up I, and I, take but... care of your responsibilities of a making sure and then b making sure that. You're providing. Before you make sure too, it's just like I knew. So then it's like, dang, I couldn't. She's so beautiful. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do it like that. Mm -hmm. I just try to be just invisible and just here put. Here. I couldn't do that. I just had to stand up. Girl, honey. First of all, he didn't know her, but he's sticking his thing up in there raw. That's common, though, right? Listen, I ain't judging. That's common, you know, sticking the thing up in there raw. And I'm sure he probably would have did it to Batty G and all these other girls because he's been doing this, so why he going to stop now? Okay? <laughs> it's been common law for him to stick it, okay, and not think twice about the girl because he don't care about the the who she is he's just getting his rocks off because these girls are beautiful to him that's what they go well not all people that go to strip clubs but i think for the most part they just want the fantasy they don't want to get to know the woman for real they just want to stick it and quit it you know get their fantasies get their rocks off and keep it moving which is i think that's that's something i forgot the word for it because you know they got a term for everything but she said, this is the baby mother. She said, I stayed silent nine months of my pregnancy. Now, girl, why in the hell are you staying silent? <laughs> and the, oh, okay. And her first year of her life, I'm so happy and grateful that they have now built a bond. But I had to speak up for myself because I'd be damned if my daughter see or hear this in the future and think it was just I was just out here living a thought life and didn't know who my baby daddy was. Well, no, it's a lot of girls like that. Don't be shading now, okay? It's normal now, all right? Don't be shading the girls. I can plan. Listen, you chose not to see about her. 
you chose to remain ignorant. It wasn't until I kept having to embarrass myself just to prove the point that you had my baby effed up, that you chose to step out. And I take that. Y'all can call me whatever the F you want, but at least my baby gonna know I rode for her 100% period, okay? So there you go. The mother of Offset, oldest daughter, has some things to get off her chest. So this is recent. She's still talking, and I'm sure she's still trying to get that child support, honey. All right? So what y'all think about that? Girl. Girl, girl, girl. Okay, so hold on. We got some more to read. Okay, so according to legal documents obtained by TMZ, she claims that the rapper has provided limited financial support, but she wants an increase in payment or at least a consistent payment schedule. The journey of fatherhood was kind of, this is Offset speaking. The journey of fatherhood was kind of tough for me at first. Offset told some magazine, The Living Wild, promoting his father, Four album this summer, I was trying to find myself. I didn't have much direction on what it meant to be a father. Okay? <laughs> all right. So, Offset, Cardi B, Clout. All right. And those are his kids. There you go. So, let's go here. Um... That's all the fans in the sp- Okay, we don't got to read all this. All right, I think we're done for right now. Um, He continued, I definitely make mistakes, but I have no regrets. It's challenging when you have a career like this. You're constantly on the road. It makes it tough to see your kids, especially when they're young. Offset explained, now that I'm older, though, I'm learning my way. All right, there you go. Listen. If you know your lifestyle is going to be hectic and you know your lifestyle is going to make you have to, man, you have to be this and not be there for your kids, then won't you, you know, think smart. Let's think future. Let's wrap it up. Make sure she on the pill so we won't have no, you know, situations, mistakes, as he called them, okay? But like he said, he don't regret them, but it was definitely some mistakes. Comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.